Yeah. Welcome to Talk to Me. I'm Esther Mills. Our guest is American biz business and social entrepreneur, John Crowley. John Crowley is also the president and CEO of Amicus Therapeutics. In 1998, his two children, Megan and Patrick, were diagnosed with a rare and fatal neuromuscular disease. This compelled John to find a cure to, his, to the disease by starting up a biopharmaceutical company. His story is chronicled in the Wall Street Journal, the Today Show, the Harvard School Business School case study, his own personal memoir, as well as a book called The Cure, written by Pulitzer Prize winner Gita Anand. He is also featured in a major motion picture that is to be released January 22, 2010, called Extraordinary Measures. Welcome, John. Thank you, Esther. Good to be here. So tell us, when you found out that your children had this disease, how did, how did that impact you? Well, it all happened fairly quickly. You know, Megan was 15 months old when we got her diagnosis. Her first year of life, she was pretty normal, pretty healthy kid. And those last couple of months before her diagnosis, she just wasn't doing the things a kid's supposed to do. And then we got Megan's diagnosis when Patrick was seven days old. And in fact, when we got Megan's diagnosis, we were told it's a fatal neuromuscular disease. There's very little research, and she probably wouldn't live to be two, and that Patrick would have a 25% chance of having the disease as well. So as you'd imagine, anybody who gets that type of a, a, a health diagnosis, even when there's something not right, you never expect anything that profound. And mm. for us, there was a, a range of emotions in a very short period of time from shock and anger and grief and denial, frustration. <laughs> to very, very quickly, I think, determination to, to do whatever we could to, to change the course of that. And tell us about the disease. What, what mm -hmm. was happening? You were saying she was behind uh, in motor skills or? Sure, it's an inherited genetic disease and it's a, what's known as a recessive disease. So Eileen and I are both silent carriers, just like anybody is a carrier for any number of diseases until you meet another carrier and have a baby with them. Uh, you know, the disease doesn't manifest itself, and even then there's only a one in four chance that your children will have the disease. So with no history of it in our families, it was a, a particular surprise. What happens in Pompeii, the kids, because of the genetic defect, they can't make one particular enzyme. And for you and me, it's the enzyme that breaks down stored sugar in the form of something called glycogen. Uh, because they don't have the enzyme to break that down, the muscles become very weak, and it's all muscles, it's skeletal muscles, it's the diaphragm used in breathing, it's cardiac muscle, the heart. So it's a particularly devastating disease. So she was just showing signs, she muscle weakness. Yeah, she wasn't pulling up in the crib, she wasn't taking her first steps, maybe a little trouble swallowing. To order a DVD or video of this program, call 1-800-876-2447 or visit our website at www.chiptaylor.com.